health and safety where wigs are affected to start with are damaging them so this video has definitely been requested and I'm gonna just go into a few things that I do that have helped me keep my edges safe over the years of wearing wigs now for those of you guys who don't know I've been wearing wigs since I was about 15 16 and my edges have never suffered one time um, because of wig wearing so I thought I'd just share my tips with you guys and just give you a bit of information that might help for those of you guys who are interested in wearing wigs and don't know where to start I have a custom wig service where I offer customized wigs with the hair included at really affordable prices in the description down below and also check out my Instagram main king wigs for more updates and pictures okay so this video basically is stemming from a comment that somebody left on my YouTube video um, I made a YouTube video about a year ago talking about my relaxed hair journey for those of you guys who haven't seen it I'll put a link down below so you can watch it they said I always wear wigs as a protective style but eventually it damaged my edges how do you wear them without damaging your edges? But somebody else responded and this is what they said. Thank you for sharing that wigs eventually damage your edges. Nobody ever talks about that part. Yet all we see are bald or extremely thin hairlines on women. The laying and removing of wigs snap your edges out, period. This means that wigs are not a protective style and they're just something that women wear as a regular hairstyle and that is it. I'm so tired of women promoting wigs as protective when wigs are the main reason that so many people are out here with no edges. It is ridiculous. So this is basically the comment that has prompted me to make this video because Evidently, there is a myth going around that you can't wear wigs without your edges being destroyed and I'm here to debunk that myth and give you guys some tips and tricks as to how to protect your edges easily and quickly so you don't have to be afraid of wearing wigs as a protective style. So that is basically what the video is going to be about and I'm going to just get straight into tip number one. Now me personally, I don't use any got to be glue or any gel or anything like that on my edges because all of my wigs are glueless. So as I said, with my custom wig service, the wigs are glueless because I find that it's the best for your edges and the best for your hair in general because when the wig is glued, she can take it off with ease without any hassle. If you can avoid um, using glue, then I would recommend doing that. The elastic band method is out there and it's a game changer. All of my wigs have elastic bands on them because it gives you that security without having to commit to the glue. So that is definitely something that will save your edges if you're concerned. Never sleep with your wig on. Now, I know a lot of people always think, hmm, like if I've spent all this time gluing down my wig, then I'm gonna sleep with it on. Me personally, I don't really believe you should sleep with your wig on, at least not on a regular basis because your edges need time to breathe, they need time to be free and when you're rolling around and tossing and turning in the night, you know, your edges are going to rub and that is going to be a big issue. So the second tip I have for you guys is always wear a net under your wig. Now when I first started wearing wigs, I never used to wear a net under my hair because I just used to put my wig straight on, like direct contact onto my hair and I found that it was actually really itchy for me, that was the reason why I stopped doing that. So I started wearing this um, netted cap which I'll show you guys make sure that you're not putting the wig directly on your hair because if you do then it will rub again so make sure you have a net or a stocking cap or something but I find that the nets work the best because they have a grip and because of the holes in it it still gives your edges a bit of breathing space as well so that is definitely really important now on to the actual main thing I want to talk to you guys about and um, this video is not sponsored at all I'm not getting paid to say this or anything like that this is genuinely something that I found has really worked for me and I want to share it with you guys now a company called GEX they're really famous for their wig heads and wig stands and stuff and they actually sent me one last year and a few months later they actually offered to send me some of their wig grips now I don't know if you guys know what wig grips are so wig grips are basically these headband things and you actually put these under your wig the primary design of wig grips is to stop your wigs from sliding and it does an amazing job even with elastic bands sometimes like when your wig starts to get loose or whatever the case may be um, sometimes the wig will slide around you might have to pull it forward or shift it but when you have one of these on telling you guys your wig does not shift at all like it's absolutely amazing now as i said the primary um focus of these is to stop your wig from moving but because the material is so soft guys and it's like it's so soft it really does protect your edges really really well and i can never ever wear a wig again without wearing one of these underneath because it keeps my edges really soft and protects them from my wig and it also stops my wig from moving so these are absolutely fantastic and i would 100 recommend these i'm going to do a quick um demo to show you guys how much i can shake my head around and my wig will not move at all so i'm going to do a quick demo for you guys now <laughs> Obviously my hair is all over the place, but my wig has not moved whatsoever, it hasn't come off. And GEX were kind enough to send me four. So we have black, brown, tan, and cream. So those are the colors that they sent me. Um, I'm currently wearing the black one, but as you can see, it's completely undetectable. You can't see that I'm wearing one because my wig is still flat. It's not bulky or anything like that. Um, I think you can get these on Amazon for like 15 pounds, 13, 15 pounds. 
um, but there are there are other brands that are cheaper but with this GEX one I really love it the black and the brown are obviously my favorite because I'm dark skin so I can wear this interchangeably with these lighter colors the reason why these are so great is because you can literally just put a bit of your foundation on the area and it will blend perfectly as well so any color and any texture you can either wear it straight or just put a bit of foundation to modify it to your perfect tone so these are so handy and these really do protect your edges guys and all of these things I've mentioned are how I've been able to protect my edges and to keep my edges safe from my wigs also as well definitely don't forget to moisturize and seal put some put oils on your edges i put castor oil on my edges west indian castor oil coconut oil and um, that kind of thing to protect my edges as well just on a daily basis so that's something to also consider if you don't do that already so if you've got any concerns about wig wearing i would definitely give my tips a go because it's worked for me and hopefully it will work for you guys as well but yeah guys that is the end of this video i hope you've enjoyed it again don't forget to check out my custom wig service if you're looking for a really nice affordable custom wig um, this again like i said is to keep you straight which is gorgeous and i'm sure you guys will love all the textures as well but yeah thank you so much for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed it you were able to learn something and um i will see you all in my next one bye